our newest honorary uh, police officer that we swore in this morning. So I was very proud to do that. And, uh, move the camera a little right uh, the I'll, uh, I'll get to that here in a minute. Um, this is the ninth annual Roman Forest and, uh, Police Officers Awards and Appreciation Dinner 2022. I want to thank a few people who made this happen. Uh, Jackie Garza, she uh, works really hard. Where is she? She's somewhere. There she is. Yeah, she works really hard to uh, put this together. She does the majority of this stuff, so I take a little bit of credit. So I'm a little footnote in putting this together. But uh, president of our association, Jeff Campbell, he's also uh, put in a little bit of work to get this going. And uh, Jill Carlson, one of our former city councilwoman. She's uh, doing photography for us. She always volunteers to do that, and I appreciate it. And uh, Judge Jason Dunn, he is our master of ceremonies tonight. We have a master of ceremonies. He tells what we're doing while I present the awards to the officers. Uh, this is a joint uh, event between the Roman Force Police Department and the Roman Force Police Association. So I want to recognize the uh, Roman Force Police Association officers, which is President Jeff Campbell, uh, Vice President Rachel Rippey. Not here She's not here yet. She's sitting right here. Uh, and, oh, she is there. Okay, I see her. April's hand is blocking you. And um, Secretary Treasurer Jackie Garza. So I appreciate you guys uh, doing all this work, getting this together. So I want to start off with a prayer. Uh, our chaplain, Josh Fleming, he's here. I'll give you a mic. I'll give it a moment to charge, and then you get the mic. Good evening. If you will, uh, bow your heads and let me pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this evening, Father, that you allowed us to come together. Uh, Lord, we thank you for this food, for those who put all this together. Lord, most of all, we thank you for these officers. Lord, the families represented here, Father, they sacrificed so much, Lord. We just ask that we honor them tonight, Lord. That we congratulate them tonight, Lord. We thank them for their commitment, uh, for all they poured into the community which they serve. Father, I pray that you would just continue to strengthen them. Uh, Father, give them the courage, the, uh, the, abilities, the abilities to do this to the best of uh, their knowledge, Father. I just pray that you would just empower them to... Uh, to be a representative uh, in this county, in this community that uh, would make this department proud, would make their families proud. Uh, Father, we, we are so thankful for officers across this nation who put their life on the line every day uh, for what we know is often a thankless job. Uh, but I pray that tonight, Father, they would understand that uh, it is not thankless in our eyes. That we, we do appreciate everything that they do. We appreciate their sacrifice, their effort, um, their commitment, all the things they pour into this day to day, we thank you uh, for them. So tonight, I pray that they're they're honored, they're congratulated, Lord, and that uh, they're celebrated for their achievements. And we thank all thank you for this in Jesus' name. Thank you.
Uh, Mr. Uh, Danny? <laughs> Put one spot again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gotcha, yeah. Tell us a bit about how we got here. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking right to the end to it. All right, good evening. How you doing? My name is Theo Daniel. My son is Virgil Daniel. And uh, he has a metastatic anaplastic infendoma with grade 3. Metastatic means he's you know, stage 4. Get the best of it, no matter how, how bad you know the day or week is. Um, I know the last two weeks have been kind of tough for law enforcement, being what's going on in the streets. And for today, I guess it was just perfect timing that God made it to where He was wanted today. Uh, being we had a lot of stuff going on, and the morale was down kind of low. And here comes this ten-year-old walking in and this morning with all the the whole the government came and officers coming and put a smile on his face. get a chance to meet him and uh, maybe you can understand why God put something in his heart but he's been fighting his battle with his cancer since uh, he was six almost seven years old. And the love, the support and the camaraderie from law enforcement has given him fuel to come along five months to live to uh, three years, three and a half. So um, we appreciate everything you do. I know he does, as you can see him, he's happy. <laughs> I said a lot earlier today, so we appreciate you. Thank you. All right. So, as an honorary Roman Force police officer, but if he's up to it, we always swear in our officers that came to us in 2021. They've already sworn in also. Just like him, he's already sworn in. I think I'm going to invite him up with the two officers we're going to be swearing in tonight. And we can get all three of them sworn in again. So, with that said, let's eat. The, uh, we're going to play a slide, slide presentation here in a minute. Uh, after everybody gets their meal, everybody can sit down and we got a slideshow. Uh, the two different screens. Uh, the slideshow was put together by Jeff Campbell. Uh, okay. Jackie, Jackie put most of it together, but Jeff did some tweaking, so we put your name on it. So, uh, Gringo's, I, I got down here, Gringo's next to the chicken, but it's actually Gringo's Texas. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know where I got that. Gringo's Texas, they uh, donated the, uh, the meal tonight. Uh, that's pretty awesome. And uh, I wanted to mention the uh, sponsors before we get started. So we have Blue Line sponsors of uh, uh, Laura's Dog Room, uh, Constable Rowdy Hayden, uh, Councilman David Mullane, Commissioner James Metz, FD Tactics Uniform, Kendra Dempsey Remax Heritage, the East Montgomery County Improvement District, and Gringo's Kitchen, uh, Gringo's Text Match. And, uh, Carlisle Investments, Advanced Business Solutions, Liz Millane, who's always very supportive of us, and TJMT Services, Tony Garson. So I appreciate all the sponsors that made all this happen. So let's see. Go ahead and line up. And of course, uh, uh, Josh Seaman, we had uh, his funeral. He, he moved over to the Sheriff Department, but he and uh, uh, passing away by the duty death of COVID. And uh, there was a couple slacks there. So, a few sad things, but there's a lot of good things that happen. There's some boats. And we got a K9, uh, which he'll be in later today. Uh, we'll, we'll get to take pictures. It'll we'll be a, our first group photo with our K9 until then. So, that'll be awesome. Hopefully, he behaves well enough to do that. So, where Josh is sitting, he's insured that, right? <laughs> so, anyway, I, I think uh, there's still plenty of food. So, so um, something I was going to mention. Oh yeah, where did he go? Uh, DJ, 
Uh, earlier today, I posted a video on Facebook to uh, old Scott Eagle. He got a video of it too. But, uh, I was down, down next to him, giving him a challenge coin and uh, a little patch. I got back up all by myself. I didn't need help. And as soon as I got back up, he looked at me and he said, Man, I just came to a realization. I'm almost as tall as you are. <laughs> And then, and then he starts uh, putting his hand up to my neck. Exactly. <laughs> so, anyway, that, that, that definitely got to be a big hit. Hopefully, uh, Scott will be able to sell that to one of the newsmen. Uh, yeah, right. I'll be able to post that thing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, that would be a good clip to see. Anyway, uh, what we're doing here today, this is straight over our, our policy. Uh, so, Employee recognition is one of the police department's strongest motivators. Therefore, it shall be the policy of this agency to recognize and present citations, commendations, and awards. Oh, Can you hear me? Okay. Yep. Uh, commendations and awards to citizens who assist police department in achieving the police mission of public safety. All recommendations regarding the police department citations, commendations, or awards shall be forwarded to the chief of police through the chain of command, who shall have the final approval. While each recommendation will be seriously considered, only those meeting the established criteria will be approved. <clears throat> All awards worn must comply with the standards as outlined. This award program is designated to recognize employees, who provide outstanding law enforcement services in the best interest of public safety. Award and citation bars are encouraged to be proudly worn every time you wear your uniform. So when you wear your Class A, especially, or Class B uniform, uh, definitely proudly display it. Uh, some of the younger officers might want to see what they can do to earn something. So. Anyway, I want to uh, honor our law enforcement officer families. So, police spouses, please stand. Retired is okay too. <laughs> retired spouses, retired officer police spouses, stand. <laughs> These people are directly behind the badge that give us the strength that we need. It's sometimes a more difficult job <clears throat> than wearing the badge. So you guys are the strength behind what we do. Really appreciate that. Stay standing though. So please stand if you're family to a current or retired police officer. <coughs> family. All right. These guys are back home. Without you guys, we couldn't do what we do. Applaud y'all. Glad to be seated. So I want to introduce uh, our master of ceremonies. Our, our master of ceremonies, he comes up here and he uh, will read all this to tell you guys what we are giving out while I stand over here and I present what it is that uh, you, you are. It's hard to do both. So I came up with the master ceremonies idea. This is the ninth one that we've done, and it's worked out perfectly. I always get somebody outside the department to do this. Last year, Mayor Park did it. We had COVID, so I've been internal, but outside the department, so that worked out perfect. So I'm going to introduce Judge Jason Dunn. He is our current uh, Justice of the Peace, Precinct Court. I know y'all have written plenty of citations on his court. <laughs> I wrote some stuff down, so it's going to take me about an hour and a half to get through this first part. <laughs> so my name is Jason Dunn. Uh, I'm the Justice of the Peace here in East Montgomery County. I got elected in 2018. Prior to that, I worked for the Houston Police Department. I did 21 years there, uh, and I retired from there and became the Justice of the Peace. So being in, being in law enforcement, I'm no stranger to what law enforcement has to do 
on a day-to-day -day basis. I have intimate knowledge of the good, the bad, and sometimes the ugly part of the job. It is my opinion that there is no tougher job in America than that of the modern-day law enforcement officer. This was true in the past, and it's true today. The type of incidents that our officers encounter on a daily basis are complex, difficult, <coughs> and wide-ranging. Law enforcement changes sometimes daily. The modern police officer must learn and relearn constantly. It is not an exaggeration. Folks, those of you in the room today who aren't law enforcement, ask yourself what you know about all illegal narcotics, about opioids, about homicide, about robberies, about burglaries, about mental health, child abuse, sex trafficking, traffic offenses, and weapons, and so on and so forth. This is what just a fraction of the topics that a modern day police officer has to deal with and must not only deal with it, but have expert knowledge of it. The amount of education and re-education police officers must assimilate every day is staggering. This profession requires more education, re-education, certification on a yearly basis than what a doctor or a lawyer has to do every year. And when that education is applied during the job, during the officer's duty, that officer may become a psychologist, a pharmacologist, a teacher, a counselor, an EMT, a nurse, maybe even a fireman. And sometimes he becomes or she becomes a badass superhero. That's why we should honor and celebrate the hard work these officers perform in serving their communities, keeping the citizens safe and, appreci and appreciate their willingness to respond to danger in a moment's notice. When people are fleeing from danger, when people are running away from danger, law enforcement is running to danger. I'll stop there. All right, so now we'll begin uh, with the presentation of the awards and honors. And then I have another about uh, hour or two minutes. <laughs> all right, so with all of the retired Roman Force police officers, please stand. So you 
probably got this memorized way better than me. You sworn in well over a hundred times already. But we're going to go ahead and do this. All right? So raise your right hand and repeat that to me. Raise your right hand. DJ? I'm going I'm to say it and you're going to repeat it. All right. All right, state your name. I do solemnly swear. Solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the duties. Faithfully execute the duties. Of the office of peace officer. Of the office of peace officer. Of the city of Roman Forest and the state of Texas. The city of Roman Forest and the state of Texas. And I will. And I will, to the best of my ability, to the best of my preserve, protect, and defend, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States, Constitution of the United States, and the state of Texas. And the state of Texas. So help me God. So help me God. All right. <laughs> Steve, turn over this way. Steve. Sergeant 
10 service calls. <laughs> <laughs> See, you couldn't wear that many. Your arm's not long. <laughs> 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 or centered and one quarter inch above the name tag, or if award or achievement ribbons are worn centered above the ribbons on the Class A or B uniform. In the event an employee has more than three specialty pins, the employee must decide which three pins will be worn. Field training officer, Jeff Campbell, must have successfully completed the field training officer program and currently be in a FTO position with a patrol division. Mike Doyle. Next we have Diver. You might as well come back up here, Jeff Campbell. <laughs> For the diver, you must have successfully completed the diver course and currently assigned to an area response team position. Diver. <laughs> Special Weapons and Tactics, SWAT. Tommy Hastings. Still not here. Keep going. Okay. SWAT Sniper. Jacob Culver <laughs> must have successfully completed an approved SWAT certification course and SWAT sniper certification course and assigned to the EMC strategic response team. Jacob Culver. <laughs> Instructor Jeff Campbell must have successfully completed a decal approved instructor's course and currently hold an instructor's position within the police department. <laughs> Jacob Culver. Instructor Jeff Campbell <laughs> must have successfully completed the certified firearms instructor course approved by the Roman Force Police Department's Academy and awarded a firearms instructor T Cole certificate. Y'all have an academy? Okay. Okay. Bicycle Patrol Mike Doyle. <laughs> Jeff Campbell must have successfully completed an approved 40-hour bicycle certification course and possess a police department approved police equipped bicycle or be assigned to the bicycle unit of the patrol division. <laughs> Motorcycle officer <laughs> Jeff Campbell must have completed police oh, motorcycle training or equivalent experience and possess a Roman Force police approved, police equipped motorcycle. And Mike Doyle. Got you on this one. <laughs> Canine officer. <laughs> Jacob Culver. <laughs> Must have completed police department's approved police dog handler's course and currently holds a canine officer position. <laughs> okay, these are the achievement awards. Achievement ribbons may be worn in a line centered inch above the name tag or above years of service ribbon or meritorious service, I mean meritorious service award ribbons on the Class A or B uniform, the most important worn closest to your heart. Past Officer of the Year. This year's Officer of the Year will be awarded last in this program. However, as in this case, we also recognize officers 
who have earned the Officer of the Year from other jurisdictions. Jeff Campbell. <laughs> In 2020, Jeff Campbell was nominated by the Patton Village Police Department and received the East Montgomery County Outstanding Officer of the Year for 2019. And his partner who's not here, Mike Doyle. <laughs> In 2008, Mike Doyle received the Uncle Police Department's Officer of the Year. Military service. Awarded to any sworn member who has honorably served in a branch of the United States military, including reserve status, completed their tour of duty and received an honorable discharge or is currently serving. Jeff County. <laughs> and Mike Doyle. <clears throat> Intermediate Peace Officer, Jacob Cole. <laughs> Must possess a T. Cole approved Intermediate Peace Officer license. Only one peace officer certification bar can be worn. <laughs> Master peace officer, Tommy Hastings. Mike Doyle. <laughs> Jeff Campbell. <laughs> Must possess a TCO approved Master Peace Officer license. Only one Peace Officer certification bar can be worn. <laughs> Bachelor degree. Sean Wynn. Bachelor degree achievement ribbon is worn by a sworn member that has earned their bachelor degree from a recognized and accredited college. Tony Cabello. since she became the city administrator. 
She truly contributed to the growth and professionalism of the Roman Police Department, Roman Force Police Department. Liz is a true team player. Liz Mullane has done an outstanding job and will truly be missed by Chief Carlisle and all of his staff. Thank you for your continued support. Enjoy your retirement and your grandkids. Home Depot, number 6523, Porter Home Depot, granted the Roman Forest Police Department supplies to build a needed security fence, as well as some labor to install the fence. <laughs> I know her. <laughs> Angela Thorndike and LaVon Rainey from Home Depot. Thank you for your support. such as investigations. Hutchins was promoted to corporal with the Roman Force Police Department in 2021. With Jason Hutchins' 13 years experience in prior military, I believe he will make a fine investigator. Congratulations, Specialist Jason Hutchins. <laughs> Police Chief. I'm sorry, Corporal. <laughs> Jeff Campbell. <laughs> Jeff Campbell is a former captain with a neighboring agency. Since hiring on with the Roman Forest Police Department, Campbell has proven to be an asset. Congratulations, Corporal Jeff Campbell. Service Award. The Years of Service Award designated years of law enforcement service. Each star represents five years of service, 25 years, and every five years after are represented by a shield with the corresponding year of service. Worn one quarter inch above the nameplate over the right pocket. Mike Doyle who's not here, 15 year service award. <laughs> Corporal Jeff Campbell, 25 year service award. Tommy Hastings, 25 year service award. Sergeant Robert Bymaster, 40 year service award. <laughs> Bymaster, if HPD would have given us all these awards, I know. Wouldn't have been generals. <laughs> Uh, Meritor Service Awards. Meritor Service Award ribbons may be worn in line centered one quarter inch above the name tag, above the right breast pocket of the dress commercial class A or B uniform shirt above the years of service ribbon. Life Saving Award. 
The life saving certificate and citation bar may be awarded to an officer for meritorious service, conduct, or an act performed in the line of duty, which through disregard of personal safety or prompt and alert action results in saving a human life and or first aid response. Corporal Jeff Campbell. On November 19, 2002, the Harris County Sheriff's Office recognized Jeff Campbell for outstanding heroism and dedication during the tropical storm Allison flood, rescuing and saving the lives and property of three citizens of Harris County. This was not a standard rescue to get a stranded person to safety. Jeff Campbell placed his own life in danger to rescue three trapped people from a sure life danger by diving underwater to bring them to safety. Jeff Campbell's actions during this boat rescue resulted in three lives saved, which qualifies him to receive this life-saving award. Mike Doyle. Mike Doyle received the Lifesaving Award from Liberty Police Department in 2004. In July 2004, Mike Doyle was first on scene of a crash. First on scene of a crash, a vehicle was upside down in deep water. In the car were a mother, father, and three young girls ages five, seven, and eight years old. Mike Doyle took quick action, diving into the water, and rescued the two girls trapped in the back seat of the car. All survived due to the quick actions of Mike Doyle, which qualifies him to receive this life saving award. <clears throat> Officer of the Year Award. This is the final one. Officer of the Year awards are worn as achievements above any meritorious service awards, but are, are presented as the person of honor at this event. The Officer of the Year and Reserve Officer of the Year is not always that officer that made a one-time honorable act of bravery, but rather that officer that is consistent in their contributions to this department. Officer of the Year. Recipient should demonstrate and continually promote the department's goals and mission. Areas of consideration should include exceptional work ethic, expertise, and integrity. Superior overall performance in his or her areas of responsibility. Initiative to take on commitments above and beyond the call of duty exceptional ability to interact with peers and the public in crisis situations as well as day-to-day -day activities and exceptional contributions to the department and community what is an officer of the year is it the officer that makes the most dwi arrests Maybe. Is it the officer who writes the most citations or makes the most arrests? Sometimes. Is it the officer who impresses the chief on a continual basis all year long? Could be. Is it the officer who says, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, and my pleasure? Not only to his superiors, but to the people they serve. It is the officer who follows the rules and orders without question. It is the officer who fails but never gives up. It is the officer who brings credit to our agency and contributes to both personal and team successes. I am proud, speaking on behalf of your chief, Stephen Carlisle, the officer of the year in 2022 is none other than Corporal Jeff Campbell. <laughs> Jeff Campbell has been on the force for just under a year now. 
but has made many years worth of contributions to the agency in such a short time. He always strives to better our agency, follow the rules, and is a team player. Jeff is a very approachable person and someone you can always count on. Campbell was elected president of the Roman Forest Police Officers Association and has taken the organization in a positive direction. Jeff Campbell has used his previous experience and contacts to further professionalize this agency in many ways and also regularly aggravates the chief and his secretaries. <laughs> he has earned the respect of his fellow officers as well as his chain of command. Jeff truly has earned this year's Officer of the Year. Corporal Jeff Campbell has also been nominated for this year's East Montgomery County Outstanding Officer of the Year. For these reasons and many more, Corporal Jeff Campbell is deserving of this year's Officer of the Year Award. Jeff Campbell in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. As a matter of fact. The next hour and a half. All right, so again, thank you for coming out tonight and supporting the Roman Forest Police Department. These men and women work hard every day. The takeaway from tonight is policing is not a job. It's a calling, and if you haven't been called, you truly cannot understand those that have been. Officers are willing to risk it all for complete strangers, to put themselves in harm's way so we can be afforded the life and liberty that an American citizen is guaranteed by our Constitution. I will conclude with a quote from perhaps one of the greatest presidents of my time, Ronald Reagan, evil is powerless if the good are unafraid. Thank you. Continue to support law enforcement. Pray for law enforcement in your towns, your counties, and across our nation. Thank you, and here's your chief.
health issue urgent. We'll wait while you get things here. <laughs> Brian Sorolla. <laughs> you used to make this day a lot. <laughs> Chaplain Josh Fleming. Teamwork, uh, little you know camaraderie, a little family competition between everybody. And I told them, I'll give you over the next year. If you can write more citations in a month than me, I will buy you a steak dinner. So over last year, there was two months where I was off in school or doing something else, and I got beat. And so, true to my word. <laughs> The other two people that stepped up, Sergeant Bymaster and Jeff Campbell. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> well, I did what, 190 this month? Yeah. Anybody, you can write some tickets. We're going to move. Last year we had that whole back wall covered and we're coming. It was short notice. I didn't know y'all live fairly locally. As soon as I found that out, I gave you a call and you accepted. So I appreciate it. All right. I, I gave you your sign. All right. We got a call and I remember 80's metal one. Thank you. We're going to get along. So. All right. Uh, anything else? I can't think of anything. So, oh, one other thing. Dylan, come here. I saw him. I knew there was one more thing I wanted to do. So, Dylan, he's a uh, he's our new cadet. This is the first time Robin Forest is actually hired. We got well, actually the second time, but there was a special circumstance with Captain Campbell. He's our fire marshal. He already worked for the fire department, so we did that with him. But he'll be the first one that we hired ahead of time and actually sent to the academy. Uh, Sheriff Rand Henderson has agreed for him to go into his academy. He's already passed all our tests and all of Rand's tests. And he starts the academy mid-March, March 21st. Now, I've known Dylan for a long time. <laughs> when I first met him, he lived next door to me in Porter, and he came carrying his brother 
in his arms over to the so police officer's house forward. next door that he didn't know. He had a board attached to his foot. Uh, you remember that? I, that? Was that our first time meeting? That's the first time Oh, my God. <laughs> he was a little kid, and his brother was even a littler kid. But he was home, didn't have anybody else to go to. He came running to me with a board attached to his brother's foot. He stepped on a nail. Yeah, he stepped on a nail and the board stepped up. So I've known Dylan for a long time. Him and my son went through school together. They were supposed to go in the Army together, but I think he got injured. Uh, my son's still in the Army. He's in Kuwait right now. But uh, Dylan, he's been working some air conditioning and stuff like that, and now he's finally uh, pulling the trigger to become the officer that he's been wanting to do. So I'm definitely proud of you. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the board. Okay. So this concludes our evening, uh, with the exception of our group photo. And Judge, if you'll just stay on the floor. Okay, this actually looks pretty good. Good job, guys. Hold on, we're missing one. One, two, three. Okay, Officer Trooper Daniel, put your arms to your side. Put your hands like this. There you go. Yeah, put on your gun belt. Yeah, that's how you do it. One, two, three. I ain't no dog. Not you, silly boy. See what I got. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll dangle for anybody that wants stuff. He's, he's he coming for you. He's got to take it from you. He's got to take it from you. <laughs> he's watching you. Okay. Oh, okay, Brad. I'm going to bar your shoulder. Go ahead. Yeah, Devarje. Devarje. Put the bag down and come here. Come here. Come here. I want you to meet somebody. You know who this is? Who is that? Who is this? Tony's going to take that too. You remember his name? The one they called all night long? Jeff. <laughs> Oh, Jeff Campbell. Yeah. Oh, now I remember. Now you remember now. Yeah. Yeah, I was doing a bit special. Yeah, it's warm, I know. Oh, man, let's, let's get it together. We can't, we can't let it. Let's get to it. You can't let it, can't let it get you. You gotta keep pressing on, you got to. Yep. You gotta keep pressing on. <laughs> because if I say anything other than that, the chief will write me up. The chief will write me up in November for saying a bad word. Don't tell nobody. <laughs>